your skin, Pink Bandage. What's up guys, it's Pretty and Picos here and today I thought I would share a little video about polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS or PCOS. I've been calling it PCOS forever, I don't quote me on that because I have no idea if that's right or if it's wrong, but that's what I call it. Um, and I thought I would share this video just because I have PCOS and PCOS is also in my Instagram name and all my social media handles. So I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about it, my journey, the things that I've experienced, my symptoms, some symptoms that some of you might be experiencing. If I had seen a video like this when I was first struggling with the symptoms, it probably would have really helped me along with my journey. So I definitely thought it would be beneficial for you guys to kind of hear about it, to kind of learn about it in case you didn't know what it is and in case you were wondering what my Instagram handle meant. Okay, so I thought I would kind of share a little bit about my journey. So I think that's where I'm going to start. It's so hard to <laughs> remember where to begin because I feel like I've been dealing with this forever and I felt like it for a while it took a really long time to figure out what it is that I had. But once I knew that I had it, it made my life so much easier. It gave me like a springboard into starting my own health journey. It helped me heal. It helped me kind of move on with my life. It really helped me out once I learned what it was. But it's so hard to think all the way back to when it first started because I feel like this journey has been a crazy one. And I'm sure that some of you can relate with me on that. I feel like some people might be struggling with it and they don't even know they have it. So I definitely want to share this with you guys. So let me get in to my story. So I would say probably two years ago, three years ago, I started having adult acne. It was very hormonal. It would come and go. I didn't really understand why I had acne because I didn't really have a lot of acne in high school. And I don't know. I just was super confused because I washed my face. I was in beauty school at the time, so I was doing facials. I was trying new products. I was cleaning my face all the time. I was learning about the skin, learning about the science behind the skin, learning about the layers, learning about what products to use, learning how to treat people's skin in a spa setting. So I am a licensed esthetician and I don't know, that's kind of where I began. I learned more about the skin, so it kind of opened my eyes to hormonal acne, it opened my eyes to different treatments that you could use, but it just wasn't working for me. I would try all the new face washes, I would try all the products, all the facial serums, I would just try to get out of the slump that I was in, I would try to help heal my own acne, but it just seemed like it didn't work. Being an esthetician and having acne and going to beauty school, helping clients, diagnosing acne and stuff like that, it, it was very hard for me because I would have clients come in and they would be asking about acne and kind of talking about it and I would let them know what kind of acne they had, I would let them know how to fix it, I would let them know different things, and they would look at me like, okay, but you have acne, so why should I come to you with acne if you can't even heal your own acne? So if I ever saw them looking at me like that, I would kind of explain that I'm struggling with acne, I would try to like relate it, like relate my story to theirs, I would kind of let them know like, hey, I have hormonal acne, this might be what you're experiencing if you're this age or it might be this, it might be your ho your hormones from becoming a teenager or growing up. So I would try to kind of like play into it a little bit, but it certainly was hard for me because I felt like people were constantly judging me and constantly, I don't know, they didn't want to come to me is what I felt like because if I can't heal my own acne, how am I going to help heal theirs? So for a while I really struggled with that. It bummed me out, it made me feel like I wasn't a good esthetician and it held me back from a lot of things in my life. So that's kind of where I began. And after I graduated beauty school, I got another job. I worked in the fashion industry as a stylist and of course being a fashion stylist and helping people with makeup and their hair and their clothes and helping them look really great in front of the camera was also very stressful for me because I wanted to look good myself. I wanted to have a good style, nice makeup, nice hair. And of course you guys know that my hair is absolutely crazy and it's been that way since I was a kid. And then I also had hormonal acne. I had acne on my face, my chin. It was awful. I felt like an outcast. I kind of felt like really weird telling girls and models like 
this is what you do for your skin and here I'm gonna apply your makeup and I'm gonna dress you it just made me feel like I wasn't good enough to be there and I feel like that's an awful feeling to have when you have acne and when you're already feeling down about yourself kind of it made me feel so much worse feeling that way so I definitely started going to the doctor I went to the dermatologist and they gave me creams they gave me medications they gave me all the regular stuff that they start you with and none of it seemed to work either so after that I was pretty much hopeless. I was at the bottom of my rope. I really didn't know what to do because even the dermatologist couldn't find out what was wrong with me, couldn't help me with my acne. I was taking medication. I never really had acne bad enough to take Accutane or anything like that. So I never went on Accutane because I didn't really have cysts on my face. It was more like just pimples and scarring and redness and stuff like that because I'm a major picker and I know that's not, <laughs> it's really not a good thing and I really do not condone picking your skin but it's definitely a habit that I have and little did I know it actually was connected to Picos. My doctor finally decided okay let's test your blood, let's see where your hormone levels are, let's see kind of what's going on in your body and maybe we can figure out what's going on. So that was around October of 2017 so I've actually only known about it for probably like five or six months. I was diagnosed with it, they, my blood came back and my estrogen and my testosterone were off the charts. They were way out of whack. They were not where they were supposed to be. And that was kind of the first indication for me and my doctor for him to think, okay, let's sit down and really discuss different hormonal problems, different diseases and things that you can have that'll cause something like this. So I definitely found my answer. He said that I was a really great candidate for polycystic ovarian syndrome. And he wanted me to go home, he wanted me to research it, he wanted to make sure that I understood and that I felt like I fit in that category and so that's what I did. I went home, I studied, I looked up everything, I kind of gathered information, I looked at the symptoms, I looked at things that other people had been going through, I looked up blogs, I looked up YouTube videos, and I had no idea that there were people out there that were dealing with the same things as me. So, of course, that's why I'm making this video because there's a lot of people that watch Banish. There's a lot of people that turn to Banish with hormonal acne and they think, oh, I have hormonal acne, so these products aren't going to work. And I'm here telling you that Banish is an amazing company and, I mean, it's healed a lot of my acne. I definitely still get pimples but it's not even close to what it was before. So besides having amazing products, I was able to kind of get into the swing of things. I was able to kind of figure out where I was supposed to go and it kind of started me on a path and it helped me kind of figure out what everything was and it really, really, really helped me out. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much my journey. I'm still on my journey. I feel like I'll be on this acne journey for the rest of my life. And I feel like most people that have acne or skin problems Feel the same um, there's not a cure there's not like a magic pill that you can take I and mean, even being diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome or any other syndrome or disorder or hormonal problems for me i took that and i ran with it i looked up things i gathered a team of people i had my doctor i had my parents i had friends to support me i had my dermatologist i had my own esthetician because who in the world does not like getting a facial and even estheticians who give facials all the time, we still love to have our facials done by somebody else because it's not as fun, it doesn't feel as good when you're massaging your own face and you kind of look crazy. So I gathered a bunch of people together that I could use on my team, that I could help me get through this. So definitely that's where you should start. If you feel like you have PCOS, go to the doctor, have him test your blood, have him run some tests on you and then gather a team of people. You want to do your research, you want to find products that work for you, you want to change your diet. That's another big thing that I have been trying to do. I'm a huge cheese and delicious junk food person, so it was super hard for me at first to kind of get rid of the junk food. But I will tell you, as soon as I started to change my diet and drink more water and kind of just chill out for a second and not just munch on junk food all the time and eat out and that kind of stuff, once I started to actually get rid of the junk food, it helped me a lot to kind of overcome the acne. It helped me to lose the weight that I had gained. It helped me just become a more healthier person. And I feel like that's the first step with Picos is you want to make yourself healthy and that's gonna make your insides and your outsides healthy as well. De-stress and kind of take a second to yourself and it's gonna help you mentally, it's gonna help you physically. And I'm a strong believer in that it will help you spiritually and all that as well. 
so help so self-care has definitely been something that's been my favorite part of having picos and it definitely even if you don't have picos self-care is something that's really going to help you it's going to be something that really helps anybody no matter if you have picos or not so that's if one thing you take away from this video is that i would be more than happy because picos is something that stresses you out and brings you down and makes you feel awful about yourself after self-care sunday i definitely feel like better about myself i feel good about my acne it's i feel like i've treated myself and i definitely feel like less stressed out and i definitely feel more relaxed and more healthy more healthy and more happy with myself so i can't really explain how how amazing it is to be kind to yourself i can't explain the benefits that you'll see i can't really explain the feelings you have because it's different for everybody but for me being kind to myself really helps me feel better it helped my mental state it helped my emotions it kind of helped me get a grip on my life again because being diagnosed with something that you've had probably for a while being diagnosed and finally having answers it can all be stressful it can all make you feel awful about yourself it can make you feel depressed and down in the dumps but always remember to keep yourself in mind always remember to self-care and definitely be kind to yourself from you just need to remember that it's not your fault you didn't choose to have this you didn't choose to get acne i don't know anybody who would choose to get acne but it's not your fault like for me i have picos it's not my fault that i have picos it's something that my body did to itself and it's not something that i could have prevented it's not something that i could have stopped it's just something that i was born with so i definitely feel being kind to yourself is going to be one of the best things that you can do okay guys i think that is it for this video i really hope that this helped you i i hope that it kind of opened your eyes a little bit i hope that it kind of made you realize okay i might have this or i have some of these symptoms and i hope you get checked out i hope you do your research and all that good stuff if you have any questions about picos or my journey or anything that i talked about in this video you could definitely leave a comment down below and you could follow me on my own instagram it's pretty in underscore picos so that's p-c-o-s all right guys make sure you subscribe to the acne channel and hit that bell notification button so you'll be notified anytime we make a new video and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time there's a